the Brock Besser story, I, I have to believe, is, is very prevalent, probably the most, you know, burning topic in the city. Yep. And whenever it comes up, it feels like the cap situation comes up as well mm-hmm. because uh, Jim Benning's been spending money. You know, they, right. they spent a lot of money. They acquired some money in trade. How, how much of a factor is that playing into what could be happening behind the scenes with Besser? It is a factor, but I don't think it is the most pressing factor. I mean, if you go to one of these cap-friendly Puckpedia websites, it's going to show the Canucks with $4 million and some change uh, remaining under the, uh, under the $81.5 million limit. Now, that, of course, you know, counts all the one-way contracts, everybody that they, they've got in camp. So they, they should be able to fashion a roster on opening night with Brock Besser in it within a specified salary range, even if they go with a long-term deal. Now, you are right, and my reporting yesterday was that they offered Besser a six-year deal at $7 million per year around the draft and were turned down. Now, that tells me that Besser either wants you know the maximum eight years allowable or is more interested in doing a bridge deal. But since that offer was rejected, guys, they went out in free agency and they signed Tyler Myers and Michael Furlan and Jordy Ben, and they committed some of those cap dollars. So it is a little bit more difficult right now than it would have been in June. I think the more pressing matter, though, is whether or not they'd be willing to go the full eight years at, you know, something more than $7 million per year on Besser when they're eyeballing a couple years down the road with Elias Pettersson and maybe even Quinn Hughes if he turns out to be the player that everybody expects him to be. Uh, Because you know Pettersson is going to be a bank breaker, and that's when all of these terrible contracts they've signed over the last few years, four-year, $3 million deals for fourth-line forwards like Jay Beagle and Antoine Roussel, that's when all those contracts are going to come home to roost. So. In the near term, I think there's a solution for them to kick the can down the road and avoid salary cap hell, get Besser signed. But sooner or later, this is going to be a gut punch for the Vancouver Canucks. Matt, you suggested maybe term is the question. Couldn't dollars just be the question for Brock Besser? Because, you know, maybe six times seven sounds pretty good in July. Right. But when Clayton Keller just goes seven yep. for seven or whatever, he got seven for eight in yeah. Arizona, yep. I think Brock Besser would clearly say I'm better than him or at least I've accomplished more than he has in, in my short career, in his short career. Maybe it's just dollars, even on a six-year term. Like, what do you think it would take then to get him signed? If he's already turned said no to seven on a long-term deal, mm-hmm. is it eight, eight and a half? Where does it have to get to to get him signed if they do do the term? You're absolutely right, Mike. And incidentally, I enjoy your uh, weekly hits on our station here with there our morning go. show. Um, yes, the Keller contract and others may play into this. Now, Keller does have a bit of an argument, or at least the Canucks have a little bit of an argument uh, vis-a-vis a comparative analysis with Keller. I believe Keller's got a 65-point season, mm-hmm. which is yeah. 10 points more than Brock Besser has. Now, Besser has two 55-point seasons, and they were both injury shortens. So you can skin that cat several ways. But you're right. There very well may be uh, an ask that has gotten richer, based on what we've seen with the RFAs over the course of the summer and into September here. And they just may well want to break the bank, period, on the longest-term deal. I mean, to turn down six years, guys, that tells me that Besser, uh, if he's doing a long-term deal, wants at least seven, if not eight. And when you ask me uh, where you think they settle, it's funny. I just wrote a column for our website. I may get to tsn.ca as well if – if the editors there feel Vancouver is important enough. Yeah. But, um, don't, don't hold your breath on yeah, that. Yeah, no, I, I, believe me, I, I, I've worked in several markets across the country. I, I know the score. Uh,